Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Joachim Orchid Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Saturday, February 5th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 14 through 23. Brethren, we exhort you, admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophesying, but test everything. Hold fast what is good, abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you wholly, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today's gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 17, verses 3 through 10. The Lord said, Take heed to yourselves if your brother sins, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day, and turns to you seven times, and says, I repent, you must forgive him. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If you had the faith as a grain of mustard seed, you could say that a sycamore tree be rooted up and be planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Will any one of you who has a, ser a servant plowing or keeping sheep say to him when he has come in from the field, Come at once and sit down at table? Will he rather not say for him, to him, Prepare the supper for me, and gird yourself and serve me till I eat and drink, and afterward you shall eat and drink? Does he thank the servant because he did what he was commanded to do? So you also... When you have done all that is committed of you, say, we are unworthy servants. We've only done what was our duty. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Continuing with the prologue from Ochrid with the hymn of praise today, two dedications. The first to St. Agatha. Dark is the dungeon, radiant is the martyr. In the darkness, St. Agatha glows. Over the courtyard of the dungeon, drenched with light, there the tormentor lives, covered with shame, thinking up new tortures for the virgin Agatha, torments himself, and contemplates darkened in the midst of light, who is wedded to Christ. The dungeon is bright, the palace a place of despair, to the enemy of justice. And to Saint Theodula, dark is the dungeon, radiant is the martyr, Saint Theodula, as soon as she heard of Christ, after Christ she followed, pure as a dove. Because of Christ, the mob pressed her into darkness, but joyfully Theodula stands, joyfully stands, not fearing anyone, while her enemies, with malice filled, wretched the despair in the midst of the enchanting palace. Only of evil think, only of malice serve. Everything for them is empty, and about everything they complain. For they do not possess God, for they know not Christ. All the mysteries of life erroneously they read. Today's reflection. The monks ask of the great Abba Iskirian, what have we done? We have, fill we have fulfilled the commandments of God, Iskirian replied. And what have those who, and what will those do who come after us? They will be doing what we are doing, only about half as much. And those after them? Before the end of time, they will not keep the monastic practice, but such misfortunes and temptations will befall them that, through their patience, during those assaults and temptations, they will prove themselves greater than us and our fathers in the kingdom of God. Today's Contemplation To contemplate the Lord Jesus is the only true enlightener. First, as the enlightener of every individual man. Second, as the enlightener, consequently, of both society and the entire human race. And finally, as the enlightener who enlightens the mind, the heart, and the will of man with eternal light. And may God bless you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. And thank you very much for joining me today. I pray you have a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.